Hi, my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my Makeup Monday for this week. Today I'm going to do a lattice or basket weave card. Um, I did one of these a while ago um, and I just had to look it up again and do it again. So I'll just see if I can get it with the light. So we're going to cut and weave a scored edge. So that's what a basket or lattice weave card is. And um, yeah, this was my sample. I've had to just refresh my memory on how to do it. <laughs> so we can flip over to my craft desk and we can get started. So just bear with me for a minute. Okay. All right. So here's the card again. So I used um, the Quiet Meadow dies and stamp set for this card and the beautiful Fancy Flora paper as well. So that's what it looks like on the inside when you open it up. So it's really quite clever and I just had to get my template right so that I could... Um, because the templates I found were all American, um, American size cards, and I wanted it to work a little bit better for a metric size card. So I just had to get my template right before I could do this video. So, um, yeah, that's what you call a lattice or basket weave card. So let's put that to one side, and I'll show you... I'll show you what we're using first and then I'll show you how to make the template. Okay, so we're just using the Fancy Flora paper again from the mini catalogue. So it's on page 15 in the mini catalogue. It's this beautiful 6x6 six six paper. Um, this, was, this is the Fancy Flora paper as well. So we're going to be using this piece. So you need 8 centimetres by 14.4 and your insert is the same, 8 centimetres by 14.4. And I've just cut a couple of hexagon dies because this time I'm just going to place a sentiment down the bottom. This one I cut all the, the meadow dies and placed it on the top but I just want to show you basically how to do the braid so I don't need to decorate the card to that extent. So we're also going to use... Um, the framed florette stamp set. I thought one of these stamps sentiments might go well in this hexagon. Yes, looks like it looks like that will fit. So I really like that stamp set. And the beautiful shape dies are in the annual catalogue, and they're on page 169 down the bottom here. Um, and you get some circles, you get a whole lot of hexagons and some other interesting little shapes here as well. So they're the, the products that we're using today. So let me move my catalogs out of the way. Okay, so and I'll get my templates in. So basically what I've used is um, part of our, our sheet, our grid paper. And I have, from half a centimetre, I've drawn, so I, you go across two centimetres only. Let, let, I'll bring my card in. <laughs> okay, so you go across two centimetres, but at the half centimetre mark, so using a grid paper was really helpful because I didn't have to draw up all the measurements. And I've gone down two centimetres. So I've gone down to two and a half centimetres to the two centimetre line. Then I've gone down a centimetre to one and a half. And I've gone down to one centimetre. So these two lines, this is going to become your fold. So you don't want this line coming any further down. You want this line, this cut, to be this in line with this cut. So then I've gone down another centimetre and gone down, so that's at two and a half, and I've drawn a line down to four and a half centimetres. I've gone down a centimetre and drawn the line down to one centimetre. Um, so yeah, so that's, 
that's your cut that's your template so if I hold that up you might be able to see that and I just used a scrappy piece that I was using it's got a bit of ink and smudges all over it but you might like to get that template and then I just photocopy it um, and have a few copies of it spare so you go all the way down to 14.5 centimeters so you can just freeze frame that and get and do your own template with your grid paper so that's my master template so then I've just photocopied it I've already used it once on my card but I'm going to just use it again so you get your card base and it's just a standard A5 card base scored at 10 and a half centimeters and I'm going to make sure that my um, edges all meet and I'll give it a good firm burnish with my bone folder make sure everything lines up because that's important so it needs a little bit of a wiggle so I'll just wiggle that in place okay yes so then you get your template and I've cut mine a little bit longer I could actually for the sake of being able to see what I'm doing I'll just cut that line off so basically I've cut it down to card front size okay so you line this up to the top and your first cut's going to be half a centimetre down and your last cut's going to be one and a half but you've got your template that's your guide so you line that right up to your score line and get a paper clip I'm just going to move that up so you can use you can photocopy your template and use it a few maybe a couple of times I wouldn't keep using it it's only a piece of photocopy paper just make yourself a fresh one I just use it twice and then I throw it away get another one out so put your paper clips on to hold your template in place and then get a pair of paper snips and I'm just I'm using my really sharp ones I've got another pair at my craft desk that I use for sort of everything and they are my original paper slip snips so they are actually coming up for 15 years old okay so you're going to cut down to this two centimeter line so I just put my paper snips there and cut so you're cutting through your card base and this one you're cutting to the one centimeter line so those two cuts end at the same place And I just put my paper snips up to where I want it to finish cutting, like at the point, and then I know I'm not over cutting. There we go. That's why you've got the paper clips holding your template in place too, because that helps keep your template steady as you cut down the template and then this one okay so now we're going to remove our paper clips and our template and I won't reuse that template again probably so you can see I'm just trying to see if you can see you can see all the cuts all the way down so if you fold your card base out and this is where your pokey tool comes in handy you're going to leave the first one get the second one and fold it down like so you leave the next one which is the little of little snip cuts and get the bigger arrow or diamond or triangle <laughs> whatever you want to call it okay 
leave the next one and get the next one, the bigger one. So you're doing every second one. I find it easier to do this first. Leave the next one, get the bigger one um, before I start tucking them all in. Leave that one, get the next one. Leave that one, get the next one. Leave that one, get the next one. Okay, so I've extended it so you only have a little tiny piece at the top and bottom, but I preferred that. So then you just got to go along and tuck them under, tuck the big one under the little one. Can you see what I'm doing? Tucking the big one under the little one. Tuck the big one under the little one. Big one under the little one. Big one under the little one big one under the little one now you've got this one down here that's going to hang over so get your sharp paper snips and cut it off at the fold like so if you've not cut it evenly just get your paper snips back in there and trim it up It really doesn't matter because once you sort of fold it back out. And don't throw this one away. This one's going to go back up the top here. And it's going to turn around the other way and it's going to form, form your top one. And you're going to tuck it under and place it like that. And I find the easiest way to do that is with some glue dots. You could use a spot of glue, but I find the glue dots is easier. So, tuck that under there. And just get you this diamond here. Size it up. Eyeball it up to the same size. Or the other way is put your lines, your cut lines cut edges in line with that top of that diamond as I it's it's paper craft it doesn't have to be perfect so that's our braid yes that's right I'm just checking now fold your card back over and don't go <laughs> with your um your bone folder just gently press it all in place that's the easiest way you can maybe press more firmly on the fold there but that's pretty much in place now and that's your braided edge how cool is it it looks a bit daunting at first but it's really quite simple especially if you've got the template so make yourself a template keep a master copy and just photocopy it and when you photocopy it cut cut these um the centimeters off the top and the side and then you'll know where to line it up so that's your your braided or basket weave or lattice card however you whatever you want to call it <laughs> so now we're just going to decorate it quite simply because that was the technique I wanted to show you so these pieces were eight centimeters by 14.4 okay so I'm just going to put my beautiful piece of fancy flora designer series paper there so I shall get my glue My puppy dog's going off. Um, hope everyone's had a nice weekend. As you know, I do this on a Sunday afternoon in anticipation to upload it for Monday morning. 
so I had a card class yesterday that was fun and I had um, yeah that was really good I met up with a friend for coffee in the morning and then this morning I went for a, we went for a walk and then I went for a swim I'm doing laps at the, the Olympic pool <laughs> again after all these years I used to swim when I was a kid so I'm just going to do that so let's get our framed florets in and my knight of navy ink pad so yeah I'm swimming laps again after all these years of watching my kids with their swimming carnivals and our son was a national swimmer so lots of carnivals, lots of trips down to Sydney, to Sydney Olympic Park, to Homebush. Um, our daughter, well she swam as well and she was a really good swimmer. But her passion was dancing so she went down the dancing path. Okay so I'm using the sentiment for a special person on a special day because I think that's really nice. So I will just bring it down so I don't have to bring my head in. And I am liking, and I've said it before, I am liking the photopolymer stamps very much. <laughs> Extremely much. I cut a second one out in case I muffed up. I thought, let's have a spare on the ready. <laughs> okay, so I'll bring that in. Here's my sample card. I just felt like this card with the beautiful paper didn't need anything else done to it. So I am going to get my snail. Look, I found an old stamping up one. In my in my drawer. I had a bit of a well not a clean out, but I go through one of my drawers and I thought, oh look, I've got a proper one. Okay, so I'm just putting it on that other hexagon. Now I will put this up on dimensionals. So yeah, I'm swimming laps again. I'm up to one and a half kilometers, which is 30 laps. I'm really enjoying it. I really am. Okay, so I'm just going to centre that on my... Could have done the hexagon with it flat topped, but I liked it this way. And I think the hexagon works with um, the weaving. I think that looks really cool with the weaves. So let's see what else I want to do. I need bling. Definitely need bling. So I used the, um, the pastel, iridescent pastel gems on this one, which goes with the fancy, they're from the Fancy Flora suite of products. So let's have a look. I might use them on this one as well. And we've got balmy blue. So I could use, I could use those. I think we need one down here. <clears throat> um, <laughs> it's always my third one, isn't it? <laughs> it's always my third bling. Look, I could put it there. Let's just do that because Denise is struggling <laughs> as to where to place it. <laughs> it's almost, always my third bling that I never know, quite know where to put. <laughs> it, um, it challenges me. Now this one, I've put a little bit of the Evening Evergreen ribbon, open weave ribbon, just tied it around there, which is nice. Um, this card is Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen. They are retiring in colours, so if you really love them, get the re-inkers for your stamp, for your ink pad. I can't stress that enough. Get them now, because once the retirement list goes live, they are the first things, the ink colours are the first things to sell out. So um, I could put soft succulent on that one. 
but I don't think that would look any good. I've got this from the Sentimental Park or Regency Park one, so I might use that. It's Knight of Navy, it's bordered ribbon, it's quite pretty. So I think I'll use that. And I'm going to poke it through there. grab it. I could have put ribbon under my sentiment but I thought this looks quite good except I can't grab it. There it is. Got it. <laughs> okay so I'm just going to tie a little knot like I've done there without tearing my weaving because we do not want to do that. That would be terrible. I might just make that a little bit longer just so I've got a little bit more to play with. More fingers and thumbs. Okay. So I shall cut this here. And then I know that's way too big, but I'm just going to bring that back around and tie a knot. Here we go. And I'll just twist it and I'll just snip it off. Be careful, in, careful not to snip in your, your weaving. Because <laughs> you don't want to do that. Here we go. Actually, I think that one could be a bit shorter. Okay. So then I'm going to open up my inside of my card and get my inside. So um, from the Quiet Meadow bundle I've just stamped, oh you can't see that, I just stamped a flower. I think what I might do is from the Framed Florets bundle before I put it in, just in case there's any discrepancy with stamping, <laughs> I might grab this one that sort of fills a corner. I quite like that one. Okay, so we're just going to put that down here in the corner. Or should I put it this way? No, in the corner. How beautiful is that? So lovely. Okay. So. And I'm going to pop it there. I'll get my glue again. some beautiful weather. Tomorrow is meant to be like 36. That's ridiculous for March. I'm at work tomorrow so I'm kind of glad. <laughs> Although I've got air conditioning at home but that's just crazy for March. I'm just hoping the day of the wedding is not going to be that because mum will melt. <laughs> don't think it should be that hot surely okay so there's our card what do you think it's such a cool technique isn't it so as I said make yourself a template using um, the stamping up grid paper there we go and that tells you where to start how far to go across and how far to go down for each snip and these two lines have to be at the same place because that's where you fold that's where you're folding so that this line can't come any longer they have to be at the same point 
Does that make sense? I'm not sure if I'm making sense. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure if I explain things very well. Um, make yourself a template, photocopy it, and then use one two or three times and throw it away, then photocopy it again. So that's um, the lattice or basket weave card. I hope you've enjoyed that. I enjoyed making it for you. Um, and like with, when you've got beautiful paper, beautiful designer series paper, you don't you don't have to embellish with dyes or anything. The paper does all the work for you. And this is the, the, the feature of the card as well. So thanks for watching. I, I appreciate you watching. Please like and share. Um, this is my Mark Toast code. So if you want to place any orders, go to my stampingpassionblogspot.com, go over to the right hand side and there's a March host code image. Click on that and you go straight to the online store. Now remember there are online exclusives now that aren't going to be in any catalogue. They um, are just on in the online store. So make sure you have a look at those. The Hello Irresistible bundle is one of the exclusives. There's some beautiful border dies. Um, there's a hippo, no, not a hippo, a rhino stamp set and dies. There's um, like a palm leaf stamp set and dies. Oh no, that's a punch. That's a punch. Um, so yeah, have a look at the online store when you're going going over there because there's beautiful things to have a look at. And there's also the clearance rack. Don't forget the clearance rack. It's got some great specials all the time. So thank you for watching and I shall see you on Wednesday night. Hang on, let me come back to my face. I'm still managing my technology. <laughs> I will see you on Wednesday night for my Facebook Live and have a great week. Start of the week. Bye for now.